Hi guys, Hamish here from Flaming Kayak Productions. Uh, I've had a few requests on Instagram and Facebook um, on how I do my Gurnard rig setup. So I'm going to show you today how I set up my rig from a normal flasher rig, maxi strike flasher rig, and how I make it from a snapper catcher to the Gurnard catcher. Um, so I'll show you that right now. So when it, this is out of the packet. <clears throat> Obviously you've got your swivel which goes to the clip at the rod end. Then you've got your two hook rig, four barrow hooks, don't need anything too big for the gurneys. Uh, green's the choice of colour I usually use on the um, flasher for my gurneys. And then notice on the normal rig, the sink is way down here. So that sits quite high up. Good for snapper, but gurney to bottom feeding, away with blue cod. So I'm going to put my sinker on and have it right up here. I'm going to put the sinker on now, and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, so I've put the uh, sinker on. Now you can see how close it is to the bottom hook. So when it's sitting on the ground there, like so, that bottom hook's only about four or five inches off the bottom. Which means the top hook is a lot closer to the bottom as well for those gurnard that go across the bottom meter when they um, swim. They don't go far off the bottom. They can see that um, bait there. What I usually use for bait for these is just a little bit of pilchard, sometimes squid. You only need a little bit, that's why the four, um, four barrow hooks are the best. They're only small hooks for the little mouths. And I've had great success using flasher rigs for gurnard with a sinker close to this uh, bottom hook and uh, using little bits of bait. So that's how I usually catch my gurnard. And now I'm going to show you some videos of me hurling in some great gurnard. Sensible. 